Hello, Ulufem Member Tayo here, your anchor for the show 360 View, where we look at all the sites in the news. Thank you for the engagement, the subscriptions, and keep them coming. Please comment and share. Thank you. Um, there's something that happened at the weekend, I think on Sunday. Uh, let's say there's an article in the newspaper, uh, that's the Disney newspaper, written by Oladapo Akpara. Actually, it's a full page, uh, looks like um, an advertorial uh, in the real sense. So Oladapo Akpara is the former managing director of Alpha Beta Consulting. Alpha Beta Consulting. Uh, I'm going to explain what that company does what it is in case you don't know um but it was a uh he's endorsing in that article he endorses the presidential bid of Bola Tinubu that's the APC presidential candidate um in that article published yesterday he said Tinubu is the best man in quotes now to succeed up Modu Buhari as president the former Alpha Beta Consulting Managing Director said he picked Tinubu as the most suitable, in quote again, contestant after, in quote, a dispassionate assessment of all the candidates in the presidential race. Okay, so a little bit of the backstory here. Uh, the first question you probably want to ask is who is uh, uh, Lada Pabara in the first place to be endorsing someone? But I think the backstory makes it more interesting. Uh, in case you don't know, in 2020, Apara, who was sacked as the MD of Alpha Beta in 2018, he accused Tunubu of owning the company. That is, he, he said Tunubu owned Alpha Beta by proxy. So by that, by making that statement, uh, it led to his dismissal, and then they withhold his share profit. For the period he worked for the firm. Uh, Aquara also made allegations of money laundering, tax evasion, forgery, and a number of other corporate fraudulent practices against the company and its share and its holders, owners. Um, so he, he when he was sacked illegally, he sued, uh, he sued so the first thing he did was he, he begged the court, he went to court. And then he sued the it, it told court to stop Tinubu from controlling the firm. That was the first time we heard that actually this Alphabeta, which is like the main company collecting all the taxes and everything in Lagos, you know, uh, the finances of Lagos. So he said, so it was when uh, Aquara went to court that we learned that actually it is Tinubu. That is behind that company. Now, in the in the written petition to EFCC, that's uh, in 19, in 2018, um, accusing Alphabeta of tax fraud, uh, Aquara asked the court to compel the firm to pay his entitlement, even as he alleged that Tinubu was the one that got him removed from a position for investigating the firm's uh, the, the firm's finances. Uh, apart from Tinubu, other, other named by defendants in the suit included Alpha Beta and Mr. Akin Doherty, that's the current managing director, who is also a former commissioner of finance in Lagos State. So he had sued the company. Um, the allegations are quite weighty as at that time. And so we didn't hear much, you know, after suing the company. Um, then the latest we had was that in 2022, that was last year, uh, there was a, a out of court settlement. So the uh, the Dakwapara, uh, Bola Tinubu, Akindoati, and the company, they discussed on the pop, uh, possible out of court settlement um, from the uh, from the case that uh, Akpara brought to court. Um, so. The lawyer to the plaintiff, uh, Mr. Bolu Adegbolua, SAN, said this before the High Court of Lagos State. Um, during the proceeding, Adegbolua informed the court that the order made on uh, November 2, 2021, for substitute service of all court processes on Tinubu, had been complied with by the court's belief. That is, 
Tinubu as a, and his team have fulfilled their obligations based on what Akwara was asking for. So he said the beliefs that Tinubu um, at his number 26 Bodilon Road, he could hear address to the courier service of DHL and that an affidavit of service have been filed to the belief to confirm the process. So, um, so they eventually settled that record. But, but you see, um, as they say, um, nothing does happen, right? Because this this article makes uh, a very interesting read for the same guy who accused Tunubu as being behind uh, how Lagos money is siphoned, how whatever is happening in Lagos, Tunubu is behind it. To now come out and endorse Tunubu, that is, it's like you know giving it the whole backing. You say I make both to claim that the great success we record at Alpha Beta Consulting especially the exponential increase in the IGR of our client, you know, has to do with the capacity and competence of uh, Ola Tinubu. So, you know, um, well, he has, a, he has a right to make his choice uh, and to endorse whoever he wants. Um, my, my major question is, what does his en uh, endorsement entail? Um, and has he done this endorsement out of... Um, uh, clear mind uh, that is not with inducement, not with inducement. So I, I don't know what you think, but I would like to get your feedback as usual. Thank you for engaging and seeing.